Hi, uh, this is Jack Stanley, and I just want to talk for a few moments on the future of many recordings that are on YouTube and other sites. And will they be around in the future? You know, I like to do my best to preserve history, to talk about history, to share history. And it's a great pleasure to me to do so. And I would say that there are many people on YouTube that have a similar and very good objective as well to preserve the history, to share the history, and hope that the history keeps being shared. Um, I think it's important also to remember that we are temporarily here and we share what we have, we do our best to share what we have, and, uh, and what is very important is the fact that 50 years from now, you have a whole different group of individuals who might be speaking on the similar forum, or a forum that is yet to be invented. You know, it's interesting for me, like, to, like, just, I, just for interest, this is, you know, it's a book, it's over 200 years old. Interesting information, great stuff to share. And I think that that is a worthy thing to preserve for the future. Because I don't know where that book will be 100 years from now. I don't know where anything around me will be 100 years from now. I don't know how much of this will still exist. And so... The important objective is, I think, more than anything else, is to disseminate information, to make sure the information is shared with this and hopefully future generations. So what will happen to most of these recordings that we make, that we share? Will they survive in the future? Will they exist somewhere? Will there be a grand archive somewhere? Or will they go the way of the dodo? That's not for us to decide, sadly. It's for the future. And hopefully, in the future, there will be a strong desire to preserve as much of our, our audiovisual history as possible, uh, worthy conversations that, that have lots of good information to teach us, I mean, I think dog and cat videos are nice, but they're cute, and there'll be new dogs and cats around in the future. But when you're talking about specific events and specific history and using specific artifacts, whatever, these are things that should be and hopefully will be preserved for future generations. It's important, you know, when I read books and other things by people who have long since passed this mortal coil, they come alive again. And in that book and in those writings is a living, breathing individual who is just like me. And I can easily say that you know, 40 years from now, if you're watching this, if it exists, I was a living, breathing person. And as you are now, I once was, I may say to you in the future. But each of us, and on YouTube, it's countless individuals have so much to share and so much to give. And it is my, my, fervent hope that a lot of it will be preserved and shared with future generations along with lots of other people who share history of that present time. History is an ongoing saga because history is already being made if you think about it like in this video the beginning of it it's history already. It's history as soon as I speak. It's history as soon as you speak. It's already passed. 
and it gets a little philosophical here, I realize, but I think in, in closing here that hopefully, just hopefully, a lot of these things will be here, and hopefully a lot of us here will be sharing what we know to generations yet unborn, to generations of a much different time, and maybe what we say will influence them, help them, guide them. In the field of history, in the field of understanding, I don't think you could ask for anything more because, you know, many of us are teachers. We may not teach in a classroom, but what we speak of is very much teaching and sharing. And always remember that the field of a teacher is that you're influencing a world you will never live to see. But it is a worthy, worthy goal. I think all of you may understand that. And I hope all of you who do put things here on YouTube strive to do and follow a similar goal. I thank you. Have a good day.